Jim here, and I uh, just thought I'd do a part two of my 22 Hornet ammo comparison. Um, decided to, I finally got the hand loads that I wanted with the two projectile types I've uh, decided, and I thought I'd just do a an addition. So here I've got my CZ527 American twin in chambered in 22 Hornet, ready to go, nice and ready. It's a good day with bugger all wind. It's a bit cool. It's about 16 to 18 degrees, but uh, yeah, my my Hornets are. Uh, nice and run in now and uh, it's been performing quite well um, and yeah so basically today I've got target set up at 100 meters um, set up so I've got no no crosswind um, and what I was planning on doing is basically here are the two projectiles I've got I've, I've gone for Hornady brand on both but this is the 35 grain VMAX right and using the ADI powders book I uh, went from the lowest to the highest recommended powders and for this one, the tightest grip through my rifle was with 10.5 grains of powder for the 35 grain VMAX hand loads. So, gonna, I've already, I already know what groupings I've got, but I just want to do another set today just so I can show it in this video. And here I've got the 45 grain soft point from Hornady. Um, it's quite different to a lot of the other soft points. Um, a lot of the other ones are quite rounded. If you want to look at comparison, this is the Lelia and Belot, I believe it's pronounced. You can tell they're quite rounded, but the Hornady one's quite pointy. And with this one, I found that 8.5 to 8.7 grains of powder was optimum. These are all 8.7 grain hand loads. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they go. Um, I'll uh, go through the spreadsheet a bit about the, um, the uh, primers and the brass and that I've used. But um, I've also got these over here today. I'd like to test out. I just my my gun dealer just got these recently, and it's Lily and Belot. I believe they're made in the Czech Republic. Um, haven't used them yet, but they're the second most uh, uh, cheap, second cheapest ammo I can get. Um, it's basically a uh, dollar ten Australian per round for my local dealer. Um, so hopefully they perform well. It'd be Good to see how they go looks like they can do full metal jacket and soft points but um yeah that'll be interesting and also the winchester rounds last time i was just getting terrible groups and no matter how many groups i tried i just kept getting terrible groups so now i've got the soft points in 22 hornet the 46 grain soft point i believe they are and i just basically want to go over them and just give them another shot to perform today all right so here we go so i just got these remington hollow points in 45 grain um to round out this uh comparison so they're 75 bucks a box uh, about a dollar 50 round so they're quite expensive So there's a warm up group with the Highlands, with the Leliet and B Bella, the, the, the fucking check grouping. There's my VMAX hand loads. <laughs> this is the 45 grain hand loads, not too good there at all. Um, and this is the Winchester Super X by Hollow Point. So 
there's uh, the third five grain B Maxes. There's the the Lier and Bille, um soft points uh, with the misses, and there's uh, the 45 grain Hornady soft point hand loads. That um, yeah, I don't know what I did on that grouping, but mine was terrible. But that's really really pretty good. And then the other winches are Super X five points. Just to due to a couple of the outcomes, mainly with the um, my 45 grain high hand loads I got someone else to shoot the same groups and uh, yeah it, that that actually did come in quite consistent got it. going off of course my two hand loads like my group was basically a one centimeter group at 100 meters the hand loads my group was inconsistent uh, very inconsistent but the other person got a 1.5 centimeter group with the one outlier um, Moving on, the Celia and Balot rounds for a dollar ten a round. Um, I mean, they're they're quite cheap compared to every all the others except the Highland. But I still was able to get a grouping like with one outlier shot, um, three round group of you know two point six centimeters at hundred meters, which is still good. Um, the other person obviously got you know over three centimeters. Um, the Winchester Super X is finally I was able to get a good group. I was able to get a group of one point five centimeters. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking the only reason that a couple of my groups maybe um, messed up on the last uh, test was because of um, wind coming in and out on the groups, like being no wind and then all of a sudden getting a little bit of wind that just pushes a bullet off at 100 metres. Um, other than that, a uh, hot barrel could be also the case. But looking at these, um, the Remington hollow point rifle rounds, um, quite expensive, but well, I got a good, awesome grouping with them. Used them on a few uh, vermin uh, th that night, and they worked very well, extremely well, actually. Um, but if you're going for cheap and nasty, these uh, Celia and Blot made in the check are good, but you can't beat the accuracy of hand loading and the cheapness, especially for 22 Hornet guys. Um, anyone wants to try some different weights or different bullet types, let me know. Um, be going on to the 223 Remington. Uh, next, but there you go. There's the data. Uh, make make your choice and, and try it out with your rifle because you know, depending on the rifle you have and you know, different factors, the groupings might be different. But I'm pretty happy. If I have to buy ammo, I'll probably just use the Remington 45 grain um, hollow or soft points. They're both very consistent and um, accurate. Or if I want to get something cheap, I'll buy Highland for just you know casual shooting and to use the brass as reloads. Um, and also the Hornady VMAX is good, but I definitely won't be wasting money on Winchester or the AccuTip uh, Remingtons, that's for sure. Um, on, hand, on hand loading, if you're not buying brand new brass, um, definitely the higher quality bullets, the Remingtons, the Winchesters, they're much easier to hand load. The primer pockets on the Highland, which is made by PPU and Sebia, are very, very small. And I've noticed this with not just the Hornet, all my rifles that I hand load. Um, the Highland ammo, the prime pocket is way too small. You need to do a fair bit of work on, um, you know, opening that up a bit. Uh, otherwise, the, the primers just won't go in. But so far, like I hand load my 300 win mag and haven't had much drama with Highland brass with that. You know, fired a few rounds through it. I fired, I think I've reloaded uh, one group of Highlands three times, as well as the initial, and they're still good. I'm going to throw them away now, but you'll definitely get a few uses out of them. Um, so that's about it. I uh, used the AR. 2205 powder for the 22 Hornet, ADI brand, uh, small rifle primers, CCI. Um, used uh, leftover brass, and yeah, the Hornady soft point and VMAX projectiles. Um, there they go, I reckon. Um, if you don't have the hand loading gear, like I said, Hornady, Highland, Celia, and Block will all do the job, but Remington's probably the best. And those express rifle soft points uh, do some good damage on varmint, vermin as well. Alright guys, thank you all very much for your help and uh, yeah, enjoy the blooper where the Labrador decides to get in the shot.